Hi, it's Miss Nicole again. We're talking about the three billy goats gruff for our folk tales discussion today. And I'm going to use shadow puppets to tell the story. We'll talk a little bit about shadow puppets after. Once upon a time, there was an angry troll who lived underneath a bridge. He was a bully. He liked to get his own way all the time. He would eat fish out of the river. He would try to capture other things for food. And he was grumpy. Well, on one side of the river lived three billy goats gruff. There was a baby billy goat, a middle-sized billy goat, and a big billy goat. And on the side of the river where they lived, they had been eating the wonderful grass for years. But now there was none left. Hey, look, said the littlest billy goat. Look on the other side of the river. There's plenty of fresh grass there to eat. Oh, said the big billy goat gruff, but there's the troll under the bridge. We had better make a plan. So the three billy goats gruff backed away and went to decide on making a plan. So here is what the billy goats decided to do. The first billy goat to come up was the baby billy goat. And he started going over the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's that jumping over my bridge? said the troll. Oh, it's I, the littlest billy goat gruff. Well, I'm going to come eat you up, said the troll. Oh, no, you don't want to eat me, said the baby billy goat. Just wait, my brother's coming along and he's bigger than I am. Let me eat the grass on the other side of the bridge and you will let me get fat and then you can have me to eat later. Oh, okay, said the billy goat. And the baby billy goat went across the bridge and was able to eat some yummy grass on the other side. So in stage two of the billy goat scruff plan, the middle-sized billy goat came across the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's that trumpet over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I, the middle-sized billy goat. Well, what are you doing? I'm going over to the other side of the river to make myself fat on the grass there. Well, I'm coming to eat you up, said the troll. Oh, no, you don't want to eat me, said the middle-sized billy goat. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger. And you can eat me after I've eaten grass on the other side of the bridge. Oh, okay, said the troll. And he let the middle-sized billy goat gruff go to the other side of the river and eat the grass over there. So in the third part of the plan, the biggest billy goat gruff came up to the bridge. And he was loud as anything. Drip, drop, drip, drop. Who's that jumping on my bridge? It is I, the biggest billy goat gruff. Well, I'm coming to eat you up. Well, go ahead and try, said the biggest billy goat. So the troll climbed up on top of the bridge and the billy goat said, not today, troll. Bump the troll. The troll fell back into the river, splash. And the big billy goat gruff continued across the bridge and nibbled on the grass on the other side. And the troll said, oh, I'm so hungry and now I got a headache from being dumped off the bridge. I'm gonna have to eat fish and maybe some oatmeal for dinner. Woe is me, woe is me. And the three billy goats gruff stayed on the other side of the river and they ate all the nice grass over there. And they laughed at the troll. Ha 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 ha! You can't get us! Ha ha ha! There are multiple versions of the three billy goats gruff. This first one is by Marsha Brown. Other versions have been done by Paul Galdone, by Rachel Mortimer, by Janet Stevens, 
and an original version of the Norwegian folktale by Susan Blair. So here we are with my shadow puppet theater. You can make shadow puppet theaters out of many different things. I like to use PVC pipe a lot and I drape fabric over it. So how did I make the shadow puppets in the first place? All I did was I got some black cardstock, I took a pattern and some scissors, and I cut out the shapes. For the bridge, I used pins to pin the bridge to the actual screen because this screen is very floppy because it's made out of fabric. In the past when I've made a puppet theater, I took tri-fold foam core board, cut a window out of the center, and then took some translucent, that means the light goes through it, um, paper, and I taped it to the um, opening of the foam core board, and that became the puppet show window. There are many different things you can use to support your shadow puppets. I used some floral wire here that I taped on with some scotch tape. And this morning, I realized I couldn't find one more piece of floral wire for my littlest of uh, the billy goats. So I actually took a grilling skewer and taped it onto the back. You could use wooden skewers, you could use straws, you can use lots of things um, that you can find at your house. The main thing you want to remember when you're making a stick for your shadow puppets is that you want it to be long enough that you don't actually see your hands in the play. Now shadow puppet shows are a lot of fun to do if you have three kids. It's difficult to do it by yourself and it's even hard to do it with just one other person. If you can have two people behind the screen and one person in front to be the narrator, that's the ideal setup for doing a shadow puppet play. I cannot wait to see you at the library again. I hope you enjoyed the Three Billy Goats Gruff.